Time now for our Spotlight program, as uh, we do every Monday. We reserve time for the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. And once again, Lindsay McMartin steps in the studio for Nancy Morrissey. Good morning, Lindsay. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. Happy Monday. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So uh, let's jump right into it. The week that will be the Monday morning newsletter, which comes to your uh, inbox. Sign up for it at fairfieldiowa.com. And uh, we always like to uh, highlight your new members. And so let's jump right into that. All right, this week we have Randy Dilling joining the chamber, who is a retired tax partner with KPMG LLP, a U.S. audit, tax, and advisory services firm out of Washington, D.C. Contact information for Randy can be found on our website, fairfieldiowa.com. And we talk a lot of, you know, as chamber, uh, as the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce, we talk about uh, the, the opportunities for businesses, but there's also individual opportunities for networking and things like that. And here's a, a perfect example. Yes. Finding someone who's uh, taking uh, advantage of that. Member to member discount this week. This week, uh, Bhavana Pujan Kendra, My India Tours. If uh, chamber members receive 10% off an astrology consultation, Yagya, or a tour package. Uh, Last week, I know that Marie Viglas, the owner, had an informative meeting at the public library for an upcoming tour. So that's a great, great M2M discount. And all of the discounts can be found on our website. And as part of the member-to-member program, chamber members and select employees are issued a card identifying their membership in the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce and their eligibility for program discounts. To learn more about how to receive an M2M discount card or to learn how your business can participate in the M2M program, contact me at the chamber. All right. Uh, Real quickly, uh, looking ahead a little bit, and we've talked about this over the last couple of weeks, on April 25th is the annual chamber banquet. And that's not just any banquet. It's a fiesta. (laughs) And now's the time to make your reservations, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I am happy to announce this morning we have our awards determined. All of the recipients were contacted last week, and I would like to announce those this morning. All right. Great. The Business Improvement Awards, presented by Schaus Voorhees Companies, go to the following seven businesses in alphabetical order. Caribou Coffee and High V Gas, Fairfield True Value, Holt Family Dental Care, Isla Restaurant, Jefferson County Health Center, Sweet and Saucy, and The Sweet Spot. And uh, to learn more about these awards, you can go to our website and find out uh, what these businesses have done to qualify for these. I know there was a lot of nominations um, and the committee worked really hard to determine which one which ones received the awards. Uh, but that was for the Business Improvement Awards. Uh, the next few awards I have here are um, the Community Improvement Award presented by Fosk, Fosk Kaiken and Cochrane PC goes to Vintage Power Wagons. Green Business Improvement Award presented by Global ID Group goes to Green Building Supply. Impact Award, presented by FIDA, goes to the Fairfield Art Association. The Interactive Media Award, presented by Hawthorne Direct, goes to the Fairfield Media Center. New Young Business Award, presented by Sunnybrook, goes to the Burning Oak. Progress Award, presented by French Renneker Associates, Inc., goes to the Orpheum Theater. Rising Star Award, presented by Donaher Oil Company, goes to Sunnybrook Living Care Center. And the Citizen of the Year, presented by the Liberty Savings Bank. You will all have to wait until the banquet to find out. In fact, they'll have to wait until the banquet to find out as well. Yes. All right. So, again, uh, don't forget to make your reservations for the annual chamber banquet. It's a fiesta on the 25th of April. It's, uh, what, three weeks, four weeks from now? Yes, three counting weeks, down. Yeah, three Tomorrow's weeks April. Can you yeah, believe it? That's hard to believe. <laughs> all right. Let's get into this week's calendar of events. Sounds good. Monday, March 31st. Today's the last day of March. And uh, the Jefferson County Health Center is having a silent Easter basket auction in their lobby beginning today through April 10th. Stop by and check them out. Place a bid if you like. And if you would like to donate a basket, contact Jenny Hughes at the hospital. Tuesday, April 1st, Mississippi Valley Regional Blood Center Blood Drive is uh, going to be at Sunnybrook Home Care Center in their conference room from 1.30 to 4.30. And as always, all the blood drives are by appointment only, and contact information for, uh, for Mississippi Valley can be found on our website. Young Artist Mentoring, the Fairfield Art Association Studio, from 4.30 to 5.45, 
with artist Kella J. She mentors young artists with individualized instruction on student-generated projects in drawing, painting, printmaking, 3D design, sculpture, and crafts. And then later that evening, Team Trivia, a weekly event at the Orpheum Theater for, at 7.30. And I was speaking with owner, owner Christian Day, and he tells me that this event attracts all different age groups, which is not con uh, surprising considering they have cheap beer and tacos available. <laughs> Uh, later, also at that same time, actually, The Son of God at the Orpheum Theater. This opened last week. It's the life story of Jesus Christ, and you can catch it Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, April 2nd, the Fairfield Art Association Studio is offering another weekly class. This one focuses on pastels from 1 to 4, and the studio is located at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. The Kiwanis Club of Fairfield has their weekly meeting and program at the McElhaney House at 545. If the public is interested in attending, contact a, a Kiwanis member, and their information is available on our website as well. And Wednesday is also open mic night in Fairfield. You can catch the first one at Cafe Paradiso from 8 to 10. And for the Night Owls at the Red Rock Tavern, theirs begins at 10 p.m. Thursday, April 3rd, if you're looking for an opportunity to get involved in your community, meet new people, and make a difference, then join the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center staff for their next volunteer training session at 6 p.m. this Thursday. It looks like there's going to be plenty of other opportunities for other volunteer training coming up, but this one focuses on how to be a spokesperson for the Convention Center while you're out on the streets. Friday, April 4th. We have an ambassador visit at Natal Broadband. They joined the chamber earlier this month. Uh, we also have Art for Your Sake with Elaine Duncan, the Fairfield Art Association studio from two to four. These are small art classes focused for adults. And then of course it's Art Walk um, at Round Fairfield and on the square. It's uh, their theme for April is a spring garden festival. And that goes on from six to 9 p.m. And then the Grand Budapest Hotel opening night at the Orpheum Theater. I watched the trailer on the Orpheum's Facebook page, and I thought this movie looks incredible. Wes Anderson's one of my all my all time favorite directors. So. I thought it's got it all. It's got a star studded cast, really big names, and it just looks quirky and interesting. It's about a hotel concierge and a lobby boy, and uh, I think it's going to be a big hit. Yeah. And to celebrate the opening night at the Orpheum, they are having a costume party. Uh, which watch the trailer for inspiration. I, they dress very flamboyantly, and it's, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. And you'll have plenty of opportunities to see this cool movie uh, because it's going to be at the Orpheum for the next two weeks, every night at 7.30 p.m. And later that night at the Orpheum Theater, come for an evening of jazz, blues, R&B, and soul. New York-raised Ingrid Best treats us to a beautiful evening with a multilingual musical performance for our late-night boppers. This happens both Friday and Saturday, beginning at 9 p.m. Saturday, April 5th, Fairfield Farmer's Market, 9 to 2 at the Senior Center. I know I'm looking forward that to, uh, for that to move back out to Howard Park and bring on the sunshine. And uh, hopefully there will be sunshine this Saturday because at Chautauqua Park, we have our Easter egg hunt, 10 a.m. sharp. This is for preschoolers through fifth graders, but they will divide it up into four different age groups. And uh, this is a free event, but remember to bring your own basket. And uh, whether you celebrate Easter or not, finding toys and candy hidden outside is pure fun. So make sure to bring your kids down, on down to Chautauqua Park this Saturday. That evening, the Fairfield Organ and Piano Committee presented a gala evening of contemporary and classical music featuring the Steinway Grand Piano and the Barheit Organ at the Sondheim Center for the Performing Arts at 7.30 p.m. Also at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center that evening at 8 p.m. is the third annual Latin Dance Club Party. Semi-formal attire is required and the bar will be open. That sounds like a lot of fun, and I'm sure it's going to get everybody in the mood for our fiesta-themed annual banquet later in April. Um, a couple other upcoming events after our banquet is in June, we have scheduled our blast-offs at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club for men on the 13th of June, and then at the Walton Club, ladies can play on the 20th. 
And uh, for a complete list of upcoming events in the Fairfield area, visit the Chamber's events calendar on our website. If you have an event that you would like the Chamber to include in the calendar, please email the information to chamber at fairfieldiowa.com two weeks prior to your event. If you have questions about anything I've talked about today, please feel free to call us at 472-2111. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to like our Facebook fan page. Right now we're having a promotion where one lucky person will win a $50 gift certificate to be used at any chamber member's place of business. That's uh, the week that we'll be here on 1570 KMCD and Chamber Talk on this Monday morning. Once again, just a quick reminder, coming up on February, or excuse me, February, April 25th <laughs> is the uh, annual Chamber Banquet, as you mentioned. And uh, how do people sign up for that? And is there a deadline? Tell us all the who, what, where, when's, and why. There's no deadline. Contact me at any time up until the event uh, by phone or email or stop in the Chamber. Uh, we also have the op option of paying online with a credit card and there's links on our website to find that uh, but otherwise we'd be happy to invoice your business or we can take cash or check at the chamber you mentioned the upcoming uh, blast offs men's and women's mm -hmm. golf outings the annual chamber golf outings for men's and women there are sponsorship opportunities available yes yeah yep. and the uh, same thing just get in touch with you at the chamber exactly 472-2111 Yes. All right. Any final notes before we let you go today? No, that's it. No? Like I said, if you ever have any questions about anything we talk about, I'm always happy to provide additional information. But our website is always a good resource as well. All right. Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah. Now, have you, you've, you've, you've watched other Wes Anderson. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. hasn't? Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. One of my favorites. All right. That's Chamber Talk here on a Monday with Lindsay McMartin from the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. Again, all the information we talked about today can be found online at fairfieldiowa.com. FairfieldIowa.com. You can also, if you have any questions, as Lindsay mentioned, you can contact the chamber at 472 2111.